Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple is wasting no time. Just a few days after the release of iOS 17.3 to the public, Apple has released the first beta of iOS 17.4 and this is a historic update when it comes to iOS updates because it will bring some major changes to iOS which of course will change your iPhone forever. Now, first of all, let's take a look at some of the details of this update. Now, first of all, this update, when you install it on the first beta, it will come to your device at around six and a half gigs. That is always, of course, different for different devices. And it will be different, of course, also based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone. Now, the build number for the first beta of iOS 17.4 is 21E5184i. The I letter right there indicates that we will most likely have another three or four betas before we get the RC version and then the public release of iOS 17.4. So now before we talk about the really, really important stuff, let's take a look at some of the new features and changes that you will find on this update. First of all, we're getting new emojis with iOS 17.4. There are over 100 new emojis that are coming to your iPhone with 17.4. And here we have Unicode 15.1 and here are some of the new emojis that we will get with this new update. So you will get the lime right there, broken chain, the phoenix, and you can see right here some family emojis right there and of course some running people here and a lot of different other emojis which when you just combine all the different colors and skin tones and all that stuff we get over 100 new emojis that we're getting on ios 17.4 now with 17.3, Apple has added a great new security feature called stolen device protection. You can find it right here under your settings under the face ID and passcode. But now it has its own menu. When you tap here, you go to stolen device protection, you will have here the security delay options. So you will have the button to enable or disable it. And then you can require the security delay when your iPhone is away from your familiar places like your home or your work or maybe your school. And then you also have the option to always have the security delay enabled, which means that doesn't matter where your iPhone is, it will always require the security delay. Moving on to the App Store app. When you go to the App Store now and you go to your account, you will now have here the purchase history. You go here and you will have all the details regarding your apps and the purchases you have made. Of course, you need to authenticate this. And once you have done that, you will see here every different purchase that you have actually made with your iPhone, which is really cool. Now, of course, you will be able to search here anything you want, like the name, the price, or the order ID. And then when you tap on showing, you can tap there and you can just filter the results there, like the date range from which date to which you want to see the results of course and you will have the cost and the type right there and then you apply them and you get the results here showing you everything that you need to know we have another change here on the music app with iOS 17.4 now when you go to your music app you will see that now we have a change right here we have the home icon which was there before but it used to say listen now it's renamed to home also a smaller change here on Safari. When you go to Safari on iOS 17.4 and you're using the tab view, you will notice that the address bar is now way wider. So it's more closer to this corner and this corner as well. And it used to be a little bit narrower with iOS 17.3. Now another change that you will see on Safari with iOS 17.4 is that when you tap the AA button, you will now get a new button to play all the animations on that website. So you just tap there and it starts playing the animations of that website. Of course, you can go back and just pause all the animations as easy as that. Moving on under privacy and security, when you go to privacy and security on iOS 17.4, you will see a new section for contact list and NFC. And it says right here, applications that have requested the, the ability to use NFC will appear here so you will get the full list right here and of course you probably will be able to enable or disable those apps from here and it doesn't still have an icon hopefully they will get one here with the new update and now let's move on to the messages settings when you go to messages and you scroll all the way down you will have another section here 
messages for business now right here you will see only the messages for business privacy it doesn't show anything most likely we will get an update here with the second beta and get more details on what this is and how it does work and finally siri can read messages in other languages so you go to siri under siri and search you will find here messaging with siri of course, you will have the ability to add more languages right here. So if you want Siri to read your messages on any of these languages that are supported here that you might use, then all you have to do is just select them from here and you're good to go. They will appear here. And of course, at any time, you will also be able to remove these. As you can see right there, they will actually be downloaded on your device. So. You can see right here you can even switch between different voices but also you will be able to just delete them as easy as this and now let's move to the really important stuff streaming services gaming streaming services are coming to your iphone with 17.4 as you can see right here apple has actually announced that they're allowing game streaming apps on the app store this is just great news for anyone that likes to play games on their iphone this will be allowed worldwide of course once ios 17.4 is out and different gaming streaming services will be able to have their apps on the app store and of course compete with apple arcade now another huge change that is coming with ios 17.4 but unfortunately right now only on eu is of course side loading apple is forced to do this and they are finally doing they are allowing side loading on EU only now you can see right here this is what like an app marketplace will look like on iOS with iOS 17.4 once users in EU will actually be able to install third-party app stores on their iPhone and install apps outside outside of the app store something that probably none of us have ever thought that we will be able to do and of course have it allowed officially by Apple and now let's talk about performance. Well, talking about performance with iOS 17, everything has been quite good. When you take a look at the scores, iOS 17 is always improving, always doing great. You can see here we have the score from the latest iOS 17.4 beta one. Just keep in mind that it's beta one. It only has been installed on the device for one day probably we will get in a couple of days way better results than this but the single core score right there 2972 very similar to iOS 17.3 the final version and then we have the multi-core score here which is again not that bad at all 7459 while we had 7494 there a bit of a drop but of course it's still beta one it's still fresh on the device probably in a couple of days we will get even a better score than this so what's next well of course beta 2 but when it will be released most likely it won't be released during next week which should be somewhere here but it should be actually released probably on the 6th or 7th of february those are the dates that i'm expecting apple to release the second beta of ios 17.4 and then after that most likely they will move on a weekly schedule in which time we can expect apple to release a new beta every week probably another three or four will be released before the rc version and then the final release of ios 17.3 to the public so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button of course subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one